It seemed like the sky was the limit when SMU opened the 1990 season with a resounding 44-7 triumph over Vanderbilt, the Pony's first victory against a Division I team since 1986. Quarterback Mike Romo threw 19 touchdown passes this year, the second highest season total in SMU history. Six of them came against the Commodores, and that's a school record, including three to co-captain Michael Bowen, who led the Mustangs in receiving this season with 60 catches. Throughout the year, the feisty Bowen showed a heart as big as his body. He had a knack for being in the right place at the right time as he led the Ponies with seven touchdown receptions. Bowen also paced the Ponies in punt returns, including this 35-yard run back against Vanderbilt that was SMU's longest of the year. Bowen was one of only three seniors on the team with starting offensive tackle Trey Giller and special teamer Greg Ziegler. For the rest of the season after the Vanderbilt victory, inexperience hurt the Mustangs. Although it wasn't reflected in the one-loss record, the individual progress of several players helped ease the growing pains for this young team of predominantly sophomores and freshmen. Against Texas A&M, sophomore Dan Freiberger started in place of the injured Mike Romo and threw two touchdown passes in the first half, one to Corey Beard. On defense, SMU showed improvement in several areas this season. The Mustangs allowed fewer points and had more quarterback sacks and more interceptions than last year. Marcelo Simmons led the team with four interceptions, the most by an SMU player since 1985. Co-captain Bill Kiley and Kerry Brabham were SMU's tackling leaders. Kylie had 143 stops for the season and led the Mustangs in tackles in eight games. Linebacker Chris Collins was an all-around standout on defense. He had three interceptions and had the most tackles for losses on the team. SMU special teams also showed improvement in all areas and continued their uncanny success with onside kicks. Fans, Mike Romo set two NCAA records, one Southwest Conference mark, and three SMU records. He surpassed 5,000 yards passing in his brief career, more than any sophomore in conference history, and moved up to 11th among all-time Southwest Conference passing leaders. One of Romo's favorite targets was Jason Rolfe, a gutty performer who played all season with a bad ankle. And at Texas Tech, Romo became Wolf's favorite target. Passbacks Ron G. Hill and Kevin Love also were effective catching passes out of the backfield. Love led the Mustangs in rushing for the second straight year. Forrest Gregg may be the only coach in football history to be carried off the field following a victory and following a defeat in his final game as head coach of the Mustangs. He took on a challenge that few coaches would have tried. He helped restore respect for his alma mater and build a foundation for the Mustangs to succeed in the future. Despite the enormous odds against them in the difficult times, the young men carrying their coach off the field became better football players and more importantly, better persons because of him. That's why the SMU football players love Forrest Gregg.